everybody, this is Garen Jen from Garen Jen's Journey. Just taking a walk. What you hear in the background is those generators that are sitting on my uh, side porch. We had a quite the storm system come through last night. Uh, some places here in Michigan got hit really hard. Um, as far as damage and other things, I mean, they probably look like this with trees and things like that. Um, but other places like here, we got very lucky. We only lost power and one of our big trees fell down, which we kind of thought was going to fall eventually anyway. So uh, the weather just kind of helped it out. But anyway, so we lost power. The restoration is not supposed to take effect for quite a few days. Um, so, uh, the sound of those generators is the sound of love and Christian generosity. Uh, one of our dearly loved church family members uh, had uh, generators that uh, they could lend us since they did have power at their residence. So, just so thankful for that. So now our, our fridge and freezer that we have full of food. Um, is gonna survive and we won't lose all that food um, we have a way to uh, cook a little bit uh, instead of just a little stove um, we have a way for my husband to use his CPAP at night because without it he stops breathing and it's very dangerous uh, when he stops breathing because he actually turns ice cold and uh, you know, so that CPAP's very important. And uh, just so thankful for um, the help of, of something so simple as a generator. So as you can see though, the rain has really helped the garden flourish. My calendula, or calendula, however you prefer to pronounce it, it's got quite a few nice little heads of uh, flowers on it, which is awesome. My cat here, she likes to sleep along the back. We have a couple of them that like to sleep along the back there. The cement keeps them nice and warm or nice and cool depending on the time of year. So, got a lot of weeds that are doing very well, of course, but uh, it is what it is. Um, some of these weeds, like the plantain, I leave them alone. Others I'll eventually pull out. My hydrangea is beautiful. So, uh, and my leeks are starting to grow really well. My tansy is getting really, really big. And then my peanut is getting pretty, pretty good size now too. So can't wait to see if we have uh, peanuts at the end of the season. So, and then back here, my son's been putting down the next layer of wood chips. We haven't used, uh, we haven't top dressed this all year. So now we haven't a top dress it. But uh, you'll notice some things did get pulled out. We pulled out all my uh, broccoli and Brussels sprouts, or not Brussels sprouts, broccoli and cauliflower and cabbages. I got to pull out these crab grasses in here. Um, pulled all those out because they weren't producing at all. Here in the old bean bed, I have it planted with um, lettuce. So I'll get some good lettuces going on um, and things like that. So I'm excited. We'll see how that goes. My mustard greens, I let go to seed so I can collect lots of mustard seeds from them. So, yeah, so we only have a few cabbage plants left in here that are still developing. My broccoli, we're letting it go to seed so I can collect the seeds from that. You can see all the flowers there. Um, you can see all the uh, fronds from the asparagus there. So, yep, and there's some shallots here. Let's see if I can actually harvest some today. They look like they're a good size, so we'll see. These nice, beautiful shallots there. Of course, my cat's gonna want to see what's going on. That's my dear latte. So yeah, these are beautiful, beautiful shallots. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull all these out while I'm right here. And then we're gonna um, let them dry. But we gotta pull all this corn out. That corn's junk. Didn't do well here this year. So, but overall the garden's looking very, very well. I mean, even look at this fig plant here. Doing really well. Yay. And so is the 
um, sweet potato vine. So, just thought I'd share, and here's some borage and some Thai basil, some herbs that I need to grow some more of, and my pie pumpkin. Um, you can see the damage. I did have squash bugs, did being the word, um, but I treat, treated it with neem oil, which is in that container there. And neem oil does damage the plant a little bit. I mean, that's why my plant does look kind of eh. But overall, compared to what squash bugs do, if left unchecked, I think there's one right there. I'm going to have to spray that. Um, I'm very pleased with the result. So let's see why my... My duckies aren't happy. They're quite noisy. So, and then I have chicken in there. That is Mabel. Mabel was uh, drastically teased and picked on by our flock over there. So she escaped in here. She came through over there on the other side of that board is my uh, other chicken coop, which is for quarantine. And she would jump that all the time over into here. But uh, the ducks don't seem to mind the tolerator, so we just let her be. <laughs> they ha sure have a lot to say. So that is our update. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe.